searching for a gunman tonight. Police are looking for the person who opened fire on a Dorchester mother and her two year old son. WBZ's Tammy Mutasa spoke with the victim's family members who tonight are praying for their survival. Tonight, the victim's mom and grandma is stunned. She says she has no idea who would want to hurt her daughter and an innocent toddler. They're in the hospital right now fighting for their lives and police are working hard to catch the shooter. I'm believing God. I'm believing justice, so. It is only faith that's keeping Fatima Depina Ortiz standing as her two-year-old grandson and daughter fight for their lives. Someone shot the mom and toddler outside their Dorchester home, then took off. We have a child shot in the head. The little boy was shot in the head. The mom was hit in the torso. I have a thousand, thousand, thousand people pray for my daughter, my kids. It was just before midnight on Stratton Street. Fatima says her 24 year old daughter had just gotten home from a friend's house with the boy in her arms when the shots rang out. It was just like three bangs, you know, just like boom, boom. The crime is startling for neighbors who say the street is full of children. It, it's, again, it makes me very anxious as my brother literally goes to school right across the park right there. While city leaders say violent crime is down compared to last year in Boston, this type of violence is unacceptable. Mayor Wu calling on the community to collaborate with police to have a chance for a successful investigation. These are now community members who will be impacted. We're pushing out every resource that we can, particularly to make sure there's accountability in this case. And for grandma, justice and healing too. I have the best one. See everything, so you're gonna do justice for me, for my family. The community and police really believe that someone out there knows something. If you do or have any video, please call police. Reporting from Boston Police Headquarters, Tammy Mutasa, WBZ News. All right, Tammy, thank you.